Here's some information that uh, some of you professionals might be familiar with, but I wasn't uh, until just a few weeks ago when I purchased the International Building Code book and uh, started to update my website. So shame on me there, but I thought I would share it with you that the building codes have changed. And again, these might not have changed in your area. You would need to uh, verify that information by contacting your local building department. The minimum tread width is still 11 inches for most stairs. However, for private single family residences, um, it could be 10 inches. It used to be nine inches. It's been nine inches ever since I started working. And this is, in, I started working in 1978. And it was nine inches, been in nine inches a long time. Well, now it's 10 inches and you should uh, be familiar with that, especially if you're planning on building stairs. And I cannot stress this enough. You do need to contact your local building department to validate this information because uh, they might still be at the nine inches. That's uh, just something that building departments do. You might read it in a book somewhere especially the International Building Code, and then contact your building department and find out that uh, they either have not updated their building codes or they're not going to change them. Next up on the list is the risers, um, and they are seven and three quarter inches. Remember, seven inches is the standard riser minimum, I'm sorry, maximum rise, and you have a four inch minimum. So don't forget, and that's the standard um, right across the board uh, except for a few things and one of those will be um, single-family homes uh, or R1 for example but I couldn't find R1 in the book anywhere so uh, and again I'm not allowed to reference this information because it would be copyright infringement but for a single-family home most of the time uh, it used to be eight inches and again, this was throughout my entire career building stairs. Now it is seven and three quarters. And of course, that is from the 2012 building code books. So just to give you a heads up, if you are planning on building a set of stairs and you're maybe an old timer like me and you're thinking, hey, I've been doing this a long time. Well, you're going to have to uh, might have to change the way you're thinking here. Anyway, here's the information. Go to the website. Um, I updated it there. I even put the numbers in and the page that you can find the information on in the books that I am referring to. And I did purchase two books. One was the Residential Building Code and of course one was the International Building Code. And I will be updating the website um, with more information. So if you don't see any changes on there, I'll you know, come back and uh, Hopefully I'll have it done in a week. It obviously is taking some time because uh, I'm updating everything. And of course, fixing some of my spelling errors.